The new Focus Mode in Corel Draw is a game changer when working with complex designs and overlapping objects. Now you can bring a single object or a group of objects into sole focus, enabling you to edit in isolation only those elements of your artwork. The new Floating Breadcrumb toolbar makes it easy to navigate in and out of nested groups, reducing the need for multiple open dockers and freeing up more workspace. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can download a written version of this tutorial to follow along. In this document, I have the object stocker open, where we can see that the main breakfast layer is comprised of multiple groups. Some groups, like orange, contain only single curves. Other groups, like toast, have a mix of single objects and nested groups. Let's say I want to edit part of the happy face in the egg yolk. Without focus mode, I would have to drill into that group via the object stocker and select the object to change. Or, going back to the main layer of the document, with the pick tool active, I can hold the control key and click repeatedly on a curve to drill down into nested groups until I reach it. But if I were to mistakenly control click the wrong element, like this orange filled curve, I'd be back up to the top of the group level and would need to start over to get to the curve I was trying to work with. Also, when I add a small new rectangle to this group of two objects, the new object isn't part of the group. It's actually placed at the very top of the object's list, just under the layer name. Adding this object to its desired group requires a drag and drop into the right spot, and perhaps even an order change. In a simple document, this might be easy, but it's not quite so easy in a complex document like this one with many nested groups. Now let's see how much easier group editing can be in focus mode. There are several ways to enter focus mode. Let's say I want to edit the face of the jelly on the toast. To start drilling down to reach this group, I'll right click on the toast group and choose Bring into Focus. Now only this group appears in full color, shown in its entirety, even though other design elements are placed above this group. All other objects in this document are faded in the background and appear grayed out in the object stocker as well. Only the toast group is in full color. I can't access any faded object, and any changes I make now will be done within the confines of the active group. The level of fading can be adjusted by clicking the Options icon and choosing Corel Draw, then opening the Edit tab. The default visibility is 20%, but this can be adjusted with the fade level shown in real time. I'll click Reset to go back to the default, then close the options. Also note the floating breadcrumb toolbar which lets me know I've arrived at the toast group, a first level object within the main breakfast layer. Now, with the pick tool active, I'll select the group of three objects that comprise the face. To get into this group, I can click the Bring into Focus icon on the property bar, or choose Edit, Bring into Focus, or right click and choose the same option from the context menu. Now I've gone one level deeper in the floating toolbar, and the corresponding group of three objects is active in the object stocker. I'll use the two-point line tool to add some eyebrows, and both curves are added at the top of the active group, which is now a group of five objects rather than three. The mouth is another nested group of six objects, and another way to drill down is to go back to the pick tool and double-click this group. Now with only this group's objects available for editing, I can select this curve and change its fill color. Or, if I want to match this fill to the color of another curve in the drawing, I can use the color eyedropper and click to match the top of the toast. Note that the color I'm picking up is this curve's actual color, not the faded version of the color, as we can see when I click to apply the fill. Now I want to adjust the shape of the jelly on the toast, which is part of a different group. The double arrow next to the first breadcrumb opens the list of all breadcrumbs, which I can navigate or I can just click the previous breadcrumb to go one level back. The Escape shortcut key can also be used to drill out of groups. If objects are selected, pressing Escape the first time deselects them. Pressing Escape again goes up one level in the breadcrumbs. Now I'll double click to focus on the Jelly Curve group and use the Shape tool to adjust the nodes of the large curve. To exit focus mode altogether, 
closing all groups, I can click the Exit Focus Mode icon or press Shift Escape, or choose that option from the Context menu or from the Edit menu, click the first breadcrumb, or activate the Pick tool and double click anywhere outside the active group. The toast goes back to its original placement in the group hierarchy, partially hidden by other objects. Let's look at the Milk group next. I'll double click to bring this group into focus, and I want to edit this white filled curve. This curve isn't part of another nested group, but I can still bring just this curve into focus. This creates a new temporary group called Focus Group, containing just the one curve. If I make a change without adding any objects, then go back up one level, the temporary group disappears because a group isn't needed to contain only a single object. But if I focus again on this curve and add some text, the new focus group now contains multiple objects. And when I exit focus mode this time, the new group remains because it contains more than one object. The group name is now Group of Two Objects. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on focus mode. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial and find other helpful tutorials for CorelDRAW.